What's going on guys, Train and Able here with another Throwback Thursday to where we're going to read the second blog post I've ever made. We're also going to be watching a little bit of my training from this week. I'm trying to ease back into things still because the holiday season was real. So hopefully you don't find it too mind-numbingly boring. So let's get into the post. The post is titled, Stop Working So Much. The way we work is killing us. Now that I have your attention, what the hell am I talking about? Am I saying to stop working entirely and quit your job? Nope, I'm not even hinting at it. What I'm saying is we need to get up and move throughout the day. In this blog post, I'll go over how the way we work is killing us and our productivity and how we can combat this. Sitting is the new smoking. I know, old statement, right? Let's unpack this a little bit. Back in the days, humans would sit in deep squat as a position of rest. We did all sorts of things in this position. We tended to fire, we whittled sticks, prepared meals, worked behind our laptops, and hey, wait a second. Through our evolution, our instinct for self-preservation has remained constant. We do whatever it takes to keep our livelihood intact, which in today's heavily benched in work. You can't survive without food, you can't buy food without money, and you can't get money without working. I think it's safe to say that 99% of us complete our work utilizing one of the greatest creations ever. The chair. Now that this lovely invention is everywhere, our squat ends where the chair begins. If you work a traditional 9 to 5 job, we're spending a third of our day sitting. That means our hips are closed, there's pressure on our low back, and unless we have perfect posture, chances are those shoulders slouch, further solidifying our bodies into an early state of decrepitude. Some may argue, big deal, so I just won't squat as low. What do you want from me? Well, our inability to squat low as a result of endless hours of sitting reaches far beyond the movement. It's merely one of the many byproducts of a stagnant life. Sitting for prolonged periods stiffens our tissues, making it difficult to move. When moving becomes difficult, we take the path of least resistance, as our oh-so-efficient species does, and we stop moving even after our workday is over. As movement ceases, our diet takes over, and we begin to see health issues arise as we're not utilizing our food for fuel. Obesity, hypertension, heart disease, high cholesterol, and diabetes are some of the leading preventable health issues we face as a society today. I'll be the first to say this is a gross oversimplification, but it's a slippery slope, my friends. The simple act of sitting for too long is quickly becoming the root of the same health issues smoking cigarettes causes. Sitting and living a life of stagnation is killing us. But don't burn your chairs, stools, or couches just yet. There's a simple strategy to begin to combat a stagnant life. 2020. Yesterday, my uncle texted me after reading my last blog post of three golden rules of exercise. He said, I thought of you as I just did 10 burpees. He works more than anyone I know and has a long history of back injuries. So I was pumped when he felt inspired to move. We got to talking and our conversation ultimately led to this topic of the post. I said how proud I was of him for breaking up his workday with some movement and I shared a tip I learned and later adapted when I was working in an office in another life. I can't remember who first told me this, but it's known as the 20-20-20 rule. Its original intent was to save your eyesight. Every 20 minutes, look 20 feet away from your screen for 20 seconds or longer. That way you're not locked into the same depth of field bombarded by light for hours on end. Now as important as eyesight is, I think getting our bodies moving so we can continue to move takes precedent. I changed the rule to every 20 minutes, get up and move 20 feet away and stay moving for 20 seconds or more if you'd like. I found this not only broke up the monotony of my day, but it also kept my blood flowing, my joints loose, and kept my productivity up as I never felt bogged down in an endless email portal. A study done by Microsoft in 2016 found that our average attention span is a whopping 12 seconds. Yep, you heard me right, 12 seconds. Do you know what the attention span of a goldfish is? Nine seconds. Yikes! If that doesn't make 20 minutes seem like an eternity when it comes to productivity, I don't know what else will. Hopefully this better illustrates how being parked behind a monitor for hours kills our usefulness when it comes to the task at hand. Getting up periodically not only breaks up our day and keeps us moving, 
but it also momentarily renews our attention span when we revisit our work. So, in summary, in order to keep our livelihood afloat, we have to work. Just because this is a fact of life doesn't mean we're doomed to work in the same hunched over position, pounding away at our keyboards endlessly. Getting moving using my adaptation of the 2020 rule not only gets us out of the chair, it also breaks up our day, begins a pattern of continuous movement, and increases productivity as we revisit our work with a renewed focus. Stop working so much and start moving. As always, thanks for stopping by for the quick view, and I hope you found something useful in this post. Again, we're on all social media, so give us a follow, like this video, and subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks guys, take it easy.